Hello once again the peoples, and welcome to Let's Play XCOM 2 with Marble Toast. I've said that too many times today. This is the third time I've tried to get the XCOM 2 record working. I finally managed to get sound and audio working and ready and good to go. However, I already have made all of the characters that I wanted to create. The first video was just going to be me creating characters. And now you might notice this video is probably 10 minutes or fewer while all the others are about an hour long. If you don't want to look at the characters that I've made, you can probably skip this one. I'm just going to be going through the characters that I spent a lot of, about an hour meticulously crafting to be beautiful and perfect. But, well, not all of them are beautiful and perfect. This, this guy here, Harry Whitefire McClady, for example. Mr. Tell me until, tell me about about a day before I wanted to do the record. What your nickname is gonna be? Yeah, this is what happens when you don't tell me what you want your nickname to be quickly enough, Mr. Harry Whitefire McClady. This is just basically what happens when you let me use your name, including your gaming alias, in my game, Mr. Harry Whitefire McClady. You have got. A smiley face with sharp, jagged teeth right above your crotch, Mr. Harry Whitefire McClady. This, this is what you are now. This is what you are, and you have to accept it. Now, Sophie Dawnbreaker Bokes, someone who didn't pick their nickname at all and forced me to pick one for them. Actually, because they're going to be my sniper, I wanted them to look, you know, decent. So I, I designed them to be, to be pretty cool. They've got the uh, hair like they've got... A nice looking gun, good posture. The facial uh, makeup I, I decided was a necessary must have feature, and of course, you can't go wrong with those aviators. Now, probably the, cat, the person who's most excited to see their character in this game Jules Rodrigo Troxler. Your armor looks like you're on fire, you got a Cuban cigar, badass sunglasses, you've got a samurai sword there on your back, and best of all, you are officially from South Africa. Some characters even have actual like voices for, from where they are in the world. Like uh, Jonas Franke, he's he's German originally. He has German voice acting in the game. Milo Dragon Benjamin, I don't know how to spell your name. I don't even know if that is your name. I'm bad with names. I don't even know what you look like. You've got an Australian style bullet hat and dreadlocks and a cigarette and a mustache. No, not a mustache, a, uh, an eye patch. You've got a big gun. You, uh, you've got a, a grenade launcher that's just sort of mysteriously floating near your back. Not entirely certain what the deal is there. You've figured out the art of telepathy. But, you know, that's that's cool. Tom Tom Chandler, he wanted his entire name to be Tom. And I decided that from that he should basically look like Jesus with Highlander face, purple eyes, and be incredibly twitchy and also have a samurai sword. His gun is going to be named the Tommy Gun at my earliest convenience. Jonas Jojo Franca looks pretty bitchin', I've got to say. He's got a little dumpy hover drone style thing there. He's got the hood. He's got the glasses that I think he wears sometimes. He's got, you know, fairly bog standard looking armor. Nice gun. It's got a serial number on it from the people who make our guns. And uh, then, of course, there's Henry Hammer Crouch, with his nickname being Hammer and his gun name being Sickle. Unfortunately for you, Henry... While designing your character, it dawned on me how funny it would be called, how funny it would be to refer to you from now on as Henry Hammercrotch, because that that just seems like a fun name to me for for you. Anyway, you've got jungle style camo gear and uh, a nice little sniper rifle that you're holding there. You too, sir, have got a Cuban cigar. You've also got sports sunglasses and the hat with the strangest name of hat I've ever heard: the Floppy Bonnie. Wear it with pride. Henry Hammercrotch, wear it with pride. It's a catchy nickname. It is such a catchy nickname. Anyway, Sebastian Jessica Steele Tate Ellis. You've got a Viking ponytail. You've also got a dumpy drone. You've got a monocle. You wanted a monocle. You asked for a monocle very specifically. You've got desert style camo gear. You, uh, you came out pretty good, buddy. You came out pretty good. Tom Steve Lewis, who wanted his gun to be named the Boston Steamer. Was that right? Um, ah, whatever. Probably right. I have a little piece of paper by me that had all the people who bothered to get their little their name written down on the piece of paper for this record done. 
There are a bunch of other people who want to be on this list, but I couldn't get their name down on a hard copy on paper, and because of the Wi-Fi issues I've been having, I just... I had to draw a line in the sand and say, look, I've got to get this record done sometime before next Christmas. So, there it is. Samus Zero Sudoran obviously didn't come talk to me in person about being a character in the game, but in Enemy Within, which I've cleared a, a command, classic difficulty Iron, Ran, Iron Man run on, she was one of my soldiers. Well, actually, no, she wasn't. She was a soldier the first time I did Enemy Within, but I remember being in the character creator and saying, wow, there are so many options to make Samus. And I just, I've made this character not quite a perfect recreation of the Samus I once had, but I've made them in their honor. They're a psychic soldier because they're kind of the best. The hair is dirty bangs in a bun, which sounds like some kind of very, very strange order you get at a restaurant. And obviously, with ten soldiers, we had to have one guy that we could fight. So obviously we've got Harvey, Two-Face, and Dent. Now, it's said when I went into the props menu that half-face burn... Apparently that translates to, your face looks a little bit weird, sort of. I tried to give him the face paint, but it, options were limited. Anyway, he's a dark VIP. He was created on February 16th, 2016, 12.59 a.m. You're probably wondering why this video is going up so late. Well, I mentioned while I was going through those characters that I've been having some Wi-Fi issues. The big part with that is that they started when we had to move house and the Wi-Fi got cut off on 9 o'clock on Friday the 5th or possibly the 4th. Anyway, the day XCOM 2 came out, the Wi-Fi got chopped and it got chopped 3 hours into a 6 hour XCOM 2 download. So, I don't have the game until right now here today that I'm playing for you people. I'm not actually going to be playing it in this video though. It's only going to be like less than 10 minutes long, I've already said. But the proper video, the proper getting into the meat of the Commander difficulty Iron Man run that I'm going to do, that's going to be next video. So, uh, yeah, look forward to that if you're just going through an old playlist. And until next time, I wish you all a good evening. Or morning. Or mid to late afternoon. Possibly midnight if you're watching at midnight. I'm recording at about 1.30 in the morning. Because I don't have anything to do tomorrow. Goodbye.